Hello, my name is Dark Berries. I hijacked this channel to talk about Full Door on New Class Guide for Ragnarok Origin Global Edition. I will explain veteran knowledge of Dorum third job, included skill build, skill combo and in-depth tips. Dorum has three kind of build, physical melee DPS, which is tier 0 DPS class. Also, magic DPS and support healer, which is meme level if compared to warlock and priest. So, this guide will mainly focus on physical DPS build. Since teaching other two meta build will only make people regret, or rage quit later low. First for the first job, get all passive and support skill. And add any basic DPS skill until you spend 40 points here. For second skill unlock. At second job, get, picky peck, and, scar of taro, as your main DPS skill. Also other support skills as shown in pick. Advanced second job, get, lunatic carrot beat, and, spirit of savage, for DPS skill as well. Then, spirit of life, dried lifesaver fish. You don't have enough skill points to max, tasty shrimp party, for now, needs way for third job. Third job, get. Sacrifice of Spirit, Rage of Nature, and, Spirit of Life, for complete DPS skill set. Then get, 9 lives, the rescue skill which can save the priest if he dies accidentally. For stats build, always full strength, full dexterity, few vitality. The reason to get full dexterity, is because Dorum has a terrible hit rate in the game. But if you already purchased a lot of dexterity fruit from the XP shop, or using an illusion for Rooney card, then you can add full vitality, and few dexterity instead. Next, is the combat setup. Your auto and manual skills should be set like this. The reason why no DPS skill in the manual slot, it was because you cannot control what summoned animals want to hit, so just let them in auto. Players should focus on using support skill and positioning yourself. basic combo for Dorum physical DPS, is just spam all summon animal skill, and let them auto chase targets to deal damage. Your main goal is to charge up 100% Dorum energy, and release ultimate, rage of nature, which will spam all 4 animals. Also, the animal summoned by, rage of nature, can be stacked with manual skill summon, meaning 8 animals were in the field at the same time. The animal hit very hard and dealt heavy neutral damage. Which is hard to counter in PvP, need go string card. At boss fight, or PvP, you can keep your distance from the boss, and attack from far because your animal will auto-chase the target for you. The only bad thing is, the summoned animal targeting AI is random, sometimes it will chase pet or small mob instead of boss or players. But since most of the damage is owing high damage, so it was still acceptable. Because summoned animal targeting AI is random, it was no good in farming EXP. You will need to switch to Magic Dorum to farm EXP. With the new third job sigil, Magic Dorum Job Sigil LV1. You were able to deal with O damage, with 1 second cooldown only. Which is way better than Fiskio build. 
if the Dorum update is not included third job sigil yet. You can just farm with physical Dorum or catnip meteor build, which is slower. Because physical Dorum don't have third job sigil. Maybe because already too overpowered low, so I recommended just using this, or another support Dorum job sigil. Also don't worry about begin a physical build cannot deal good magic damage with magic Dorum farming. Because skill itself is already high damage. Everyone should be able to one hit with it. Need to switch magic DPS build. For the Nexus engine, the red module focuses on melee physical damage, yellow module for PvE or PvP damage, and the green module use anything you like. Nexus core ability focus on the following. Your damage will be greatly increased with those abilities unlocked. Nebula for door on PvP and PvE preview. Dorum Damage Reduction Nebula will be added after the update. Max it for PvP as Dorum will be meta in PvP and Guild War. Also, Dorum PvP armor is the same as Warlock. The Cloth Armor, which is Counter Rune Knight. Meaning it is good in PvP. Card Setup Guide Accessory use a Grove card, since physical Dorum is force neutral. So the neutral damage increase multiplier works very well on them. If you have Ether Mantis card 3 star, then you can replace Grove or Greatest General, or Mantis card 3 star. Ether card 2 star no need replace. Dorum self is small and brute type, depend the amount of enemies on PvP. Change Hydra with Skeleton Worker for Human Players, or Goblin 2 Pieces for Dorum Players. Or a Whale can use Ether Desert Wolf card, to become Dorum Killer Low. Dorum only weapon is the Barbecue Live Fish. Weapon plus 18 is important for Dorum. Buckler can choose depending on the situation. For Armor, use Charleston set if all armor is plus 15. Master of Magic said if you used a lot of Intelligent Berry, with max SP of 7k to 10k. If armor no yet 3 pieces refine plus 15, then use Tire set. For PvP, can consider using Goibnia set for survivability. For the accessory, use any currently you got and focus farm new Divine Armament level 120 from new 10 man instance. Choose the Pendant of Chaos set effect. The 2 slot gold accessory can be obtained for free to play. From the easy difficulty instance. But needs luck haha. Details about the instance kind will be updated later. Physical Dorum is heavily rely on core. But the purple quality will be fine. Perfect with red quality. The key is get those 3 pieces of damage increase core. Which will increase your damage by a lot. Also PvE sigil setup. You can choose your own. No need 100% follow. As the PvP sigil. Focus on PvP damage redux stats. For MVP and boss hunt, use the choice of maze and fate to maximize the DPS, as this sigil will give a final damage increase to boost your DPS. Try to get gold sigil, choice of fate to level 12, which will give you plus 15% final damage increases with a very minor side effect. Or the purple sigil, choice of maze to level 36 max. Which will give you 40% chance to deal 20% final damage increase, with only 15% chance to lose HP. Which can easily heal back with Sohi Pet or Priest.
1. I'll bear in card work on Doram? Answer, yes. But only work on first hit. Also, animal attack frequency is low. So better to use Grove, Mantis, or GG card for a stable DPS increase. Two. Summoned animals can be killed? Answer, yes. They can be killed. But it was almost impossible because they were moving fast and could not be targeted, as well as high HP. The only way to kill them is via Oak skill, with very whale DPS. Gravitational field, the current only counter for Doram animal. 3. Does Ether or Karcher work on them? Answer, no. Since physical Doram cannot hit critical, so it cannot procedure. 4. Can physical Doram use a converter? Answer, no. They cannot use elemental converter, but can change to holy damage with Priest, Aspersio. This means Doram can deal neutral and holy DMG. 5. Did physical Doram good in PvE and PvP? Answer, yes. Since they have high DMG and multiplier and high burst DPS, he was strong as Rune Knight and Warlock, and slightly better than Mech. Also, this class is very cheap to play, it is very F2P friendly. The key Varus core can use the purple quality instead. Also, the key accessory card is farmable. No overpriced ether or karcher. The card to kill Doram in PvP is also a pay to win card. So expensive haha. <laughs> Lastly, is the DPS showcase, test 1, Warlock DPS test, with key Nexus core and Varus core. Test 2, Magic Doram DPS Test, after change job, with Key Nexus Core and Varus Core. Test 3, Magic Doram DPS Test with Fire Converter, versus Earth Type, with Key Nexus Core and Varus Core. Test 4, Physical Doram DPS Test, from Warlock Main, with Key Nexus Core and Varus Core, but the accessory is Magic Type Ha Ha. Result, Physical Doram is better than Magic Doram by lot. And also, I was transferred from Warlock main to Physical Doron, so a lot of badge and accessory is still magic DPS build. If full physical DPS set, DPS can be higher.